Watergate took place in the midst of the 1972 presidential campaign, so it was kind of like right now. It wasn't a real story. It was a break-in, and no one thought it was a story. And they sent me just because I was seriously green. It is a measure of how little they thought of this story. Once the hearings were televised, something like 90% of the country started watching. Well, that was when the, the thinking was, oh my god, this is getting into the White House. The interest really just exploded. What were those men after at the Watergate? Who sent them? How were they paid? White House Special Counsel Charles Colson spent two hours with the Watergate prosecutors. Did they tell you you were a target of the grand jury investigation? No further comment, last week. It was the center of the world. Everybody who could get to Washington wanted to come and just see the hearing room and be in there for even five, 10 minutes. There was so much electricity and excitement in the hearing room. And then someone would testify and there'd be total silence. Mr. Butterfield, are you aware of the installation of any listening devices in the Oval Office of the President? I was aware of listening devices, yes, sir. You're talking about a time when the institutions of the media were what they were, right? Obviously, technology has changed, but you also have the advent of this sort of conservative echo chamber. How much do you think that informs this moment? This may be the most important difference, because there were only three networks, and we pretty much said the same thing. And there was one message going out. And it was respected and believed. And uh, that certainly will not be the case now. There's going to be cacophony. People are going to hear different interpretations of what this witness said and that witness said. It's going to be a contest every day. And that will make it markedly different. Nixon enters 73 with a 68% approval rating. By the end of the hearings, he's in the 30s. That's what Democrats want to have happen now to Trump. Does that seem possible to you today? If the story is unthreaded in a narrative, and if the witnesses are compelling, I don't know. It, 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 I, I'm, I'm not sure that the Democrats are going to tell that kind of story. And the Republicans on this committee are going to be throwing darts with fire coming out at the end <laughs> at every turn, and they will have their own echo chamber. But I'm feeling this is what it was like. This is what it was like. The reporters were covering it like blankets, smothering it. The world was beginning to pay attention. The president was fighting, fighting, fighting. I'm beginning to feel a deja vu-ness. <laughs>